We're here with uh, Mernal Das of Cree at APEC 2015, and Mernal, I'd like to talk a little bit about this 50 kilowatt PV inverter and what you were looking to accomplish, and uh, talk a little bit about some of the advantages over a silicon unit. Uh, yes, uh, thanks, Dave. Uh, uh, this particular demo uh, really highlights what we've been trying to do with silicon carbide, and it kind of resonates with the theme that we have here in our booth, which is silicon carbide really allows your systems to be smaller, cooler, better. It's quite simply a very uh, uh, economic route to getting higher performance systems and enable some of these uh, design targets that are simply unachievable with silicon. Mm -hmm. So uh, going into some of the details of what we were able to accomplish is uh, what we've done is we've uh, utilized new, our new module-based products, uh, and these are uh, modules that uh, function as boosters as well as inverters uh, that go into this design. And what we have here is a 50 kilowatt solar inverter, which has both of the, the boost section, and the boost section basically takes the voltage up from the low voltage of the panels up to the high voltage required at the inverter input. So we have the boost uh, section here that's uh, driven by silicon carbide, and then the inverter section, which follows it, also driven by silicon carbide. Uh, what we've done new here that we haven't done in the past is on the silicon carbide side, we're actually taking advantage of the market trend to go towards a T-type or a, uh, a, a neutral point clamp based upon a T-branch uh, topology. So instead of the simple two-level, which is uh, some of the previous topologies, we're actually embracing some of the newer topologies, even making that better than it can be with, with silicon. Mm -hmm. So it represents a fairly state-of-the-art design, uh, incorporating uh, four channels uh, of boosting at the input uh, to get the voltage up to the high voltage, and then this T-type uh, neutral point clamped inverter. Uh, to, to do the uh, inversion stage, and then that gets tied up to the grid. Mm -hmm. uh, so what, some of the design targets that we were able to uh, achieve, uh, silicon carbide, once again, al enables you to go to higher frequency. So it's a knob that you really didn't have in silicon. Now you have it quite liberally in silicon carbide. And uh, that higher frequency enables you to shrink the size of systems because it allows your passive elements to become much smaller, less expensive, and also enable you to uh, uh, have lower cost uh, total systems at the end of the day. What was the weight reduction you were able to accomplish with the silicon carbide solution versus silicon? Uh, it was uh, quite significant, uh, uh, this somewhat obscured by the, uh, by the inverter here, but you can see that this design, 50 kilowatts in silicon, is uh, approximately 381 pounds. By going to a silicon carbide-based 50 kilowatt, we're able to reduce that to only 51 pounds. And that's really important uh, for systems such as this because uh, there's a significant amount of installation costs involved with uh, these types of systems. So when you have 381 pounds, you can imagine you would need a crane or fairly expensive amount of equipment to get it to its location, typically on a rooftop or so. Mm -hmm. But at 51 pounds, Dave, you and I could just take this guy up there, and hence you're avoiding the cost of having all this expensive installation. That's right. uh, and in addition to other benefits like reduced shipping costs, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the, this the smaller system still doing the same amount of power is, is a great benefit in the global bigger picture of, uh, of the solar market. And that's what silicon carbide can really enable uh, some of these more aggressive uh, system demands uh, that are being placed on these manufacturers. Okay. Last question, Manal. What if a uh, customer is interested in this uh, unit or this design? How can they, uh, how can they access this? Uh, so our intent here is to show the capability of silicon carbide and obviously what we've designed here. We want to use it as a teaching tool for the rest uh, of the customer and the market in general. And so the, the, the reference design that goes into this and all of the learnings we had at the system level on how to use silicon carbide, we're, we're using it at, at very aggressive uh, high frequencies. The, the boost section is at 75 kilohertz, the inverter section is at 48 kilohertz, and it's a T-type. So that 48 kilohertz actually translate to double that frequency effectively uh, at the inductors. So we're talking 96 kilohertz effective the switch is C48. So given all these really aggressive uh, demands at the system level, we do provide a, uh, a nice amount of documentation, reference design, et cetera, uh, to really take this learning and pass it on to the customer base. And by contacting us, we would be glad to work with uh, these customers to help get them to this type of solution. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Mernal Das from Cree.